I'm an occupational therapist. My name is Ana Duvali. I'm in Boulder, Colorado, and I work with children and adults. My focus is working with trauma. I am a somatic experiencing practitioner and also anthroposophical counselor. I've been doing this work for the past 37 years, and it's what I love, it's what I believe, and it's a great part of my life. How have I incorporated the Safe and Sound Protocol with the FOCUS program? So I would say 90 to 95% of our clients, um, right after they complete the Safe and Sound Protocol, which brings amazing shifts and changes to autonomic function, to arousal regulation, we introduce the FOCUS in a home program basis. And usually, um, you know, most clients will have time to listen for about 30 minutes. So the 30 minutes um, focus system is usually the choice for the home program given time constraints and um, how busy everybody is. And what I have noticed is that post SSB, the focus continues to stabilize the nervous system for usually, I usually design it for additional three weeks. So during a month, the client receives this um, infusion of sound, um, music, regulation, um, and they don't only shift, but they get support in maintaining the shifts in the autonomic nervous system. What I find is sometimes if you just do one or another, you're missing that, um, that period of time in which the nervous system is supported into what it has already moved towards. So um, what do I mean with that? What I mean is that shifts take, take time and it takes repetition for something to really feel, oh, it's okay. Um, this is my home. This is a new way of regulating or um, recovering, or um, it's a new way of interacting in life. And so I find that's crucial. It's very important to extend the period of time where music and listening is being utilized for regulation. That will be, um, promoting what I call the, the possibility here of shifts lasting longer. Um, it's like it roots into the nervous system. So, you know, when I ask clients what they notice, um, they say, you know, it helps me stay open. Um, it helps me maintain the gains that I have had. Um, so can the opposite occur where the focus system is utilized prior to the safe and sound protocol? Yes, that's also a possibility for that to happen. And, you know, it's one case at the time. And I would say the shifts that do occur with the safe and sound protocol, I find that they differ. They are different than what you get with the focus they both are promoting autonomic regulation, but in my perspective is the safe and sound because I do work with trauma. It's a powerful tool into that healing aspect of um, trauma. And um, focus can also work into creating flow where things are stuck or fragmented. Uh, which is the definition of trauma. It's a lot of fact fragmentation and incoherence. Um, and so both to get both of them together, um, it's just like the needle and the thread. And when you have it, you can create the stitches and things come together. <laughs>